This episode of Opinionated Facts is brought to you by Kenfolk and Caviar. Kenfolk is a Kentucky-based lifestyle brand offering handmade goods well-rooted in the culture. Check them out at kenfolkandcaviar.com and use promo code SSDTV20 at checkout for 20% off. She asked me what I do, so I told her construction. Cause I really am, I built this whole empire from nothing. Then it's Robin going for the loose ball, how I'm hustling. Many, many hats, I got plenty ventures I'm juggling. Full time father, and my kids ain't wanting for nothing. And I still step out cleaner than all them niggas that's fronting. If I want it, I copy. Cause I always get money. Facts, I'm your host Drizzle. Today we got a special guest in the building. Back for the second time. Uh, my dog, First Shift. First Shift. Dude, how you doing today, bro? I can't complain. How about yourself? Sure, I'm doing all right, man. You know, uh, shit, last time we linked was, was the last? It was probably around this time. Yeah, about this time last, last year? Time last year, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, because it was after, it was after a game for sale. And it was after the balloon, balloon train. train. It was yeah. going along to, Four, to front runners. Front runners, yeah, yeah. front runners, yeah, the fourth quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah front runners, okay. Uh, Shit, bro. Uh, what have you been up to besides music wise? I know I've been seeing you going a little crazy with the merch. You know what I'm saying? You're going a little crazy. So, how that how that start? Because the, the, the logo is the logo's hard. You know I mean? Like, the logo looks like it should be on clothes yeah. without. And I, was that like your intention or was that? Um, like, at first, I always like, wanted, I like, at first, before I was even doing my like, music, I, was, I had a brand. You know what I'm saying? So now, do it's like first shift was like my own, my brand by myself. So with first shift, it was like shit. I took the logo. I really got the logo from like St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. really revamped that logo and uh, made it my own. That way, you know, so we can bypass the copyright infringements and shit like that. And yeah, I always wanted to do clothes. That's like clothes is what I was doing before music. That's like what my what. I would say like my passion is. So, you know, um, as far as like merch, I started off with hats. I used to sit over his crib and shit, telling everything I was gonna do, like every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I just started coming up with it. And I almost thought myself out of using this. Like I almost didn't use it at first because I was like, damn, I don't know if I fuck with it. I had like two or three versions of it. And I'm like, shit, I don't really know if I fuck with this for real. Then I just, did it on, I did it on a t-shirt some old, I did it on some like, uh, like some promo t-shirts. I think that was baby blue and black and white and black. And yeah. my brother was fucking with it. So I was like, shit, okay, cool. I got something, I'm gonna keep going with it. So shit, we started doing the, we did the merch for a couple shows. And then the hats came around. I was like, shit, my grandfather used to wear hats. So my grandfather used to wear these like, these trucker hats right here. And that's why I, I like I dropped so many color colors of them because I I mean I could have went I could have went the other route and did like like baseball caps I could have started there and like how the St Louis Cardinals did but I was like shit I'm just gonna go for what I know like my grandfather used to wear so that's the reason why I started doing truckers shit we started off with 25 in in March we didn't shit, we like. <laughs> Shit, we like a nickel, nickel up, a nickel yeah. plus up. Like yeah. you're gonna be in just a couple of months. So yeah, that's what it is. We're like, I think, I think now with first shift, like you know, it's branding myself. My rap name's first shift. My brand's first shift. Like it's easy. Yeah, like it's easy to to tap into exactly what I'm trying to do because I can make everything by myself. Everything that I like, I can do, especially with clothing. Yeah, so that's one reason why I do this shit. For real. Okay, so, so uh, are you going to just continue focus focusing on the, the clothing line and the merch and stuff for the rest of the year, or you got some music lined up? Uh, I've got some music lined up. I've been dropping singles, uh, Little Lucy's, on like Twitter and Instagram. They'll be up on Apple Music and all the other, all the other like streaming platforms. So they'll be up pretty soon. But uh, I dropped three: like light work, slight work, freestyle. Um, Blue Magic, and I just dropped one today, uh, Robert Clark. So I got a couple more I'm going I'm to throw out. Uh, I got a tape I've been working on with Montro. 
and I got like some more which is Lucy. So I just want to keep doing that. Like you know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like when I put out a tape, I put out so many records. I put out, I put, you know what I'm saying, eight to ten records out at a time. So you know what I'm saying? Why not just put eight to ten records out? You know what I'm saying? Give them their own personality. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Montro, he been kind of, uh, he been kind of quiet too. Yeah. I feel like both of y'all kind of. Yeah. He, like y'all was real active for a minute. Yeah. And then y'all both kind of. Kind of went away from the music tip. You feel me? You started doing the yeah. uh, the merch and everything and the brand. Yeah. So you were still a little active, but musically, y'all kind of been yeah. y'all kind of been quiet. That's yeah. That's that, that, that is true. Um, I mean, you know, we got a lot of music out there too. Like <laughs> it's it's like some it's like some, some a lot of music that like, people ain't heard. Like people be like, I ain't even I ain't even listened to that. I ain't even heard that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you know. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's up there. You can go listen to it. But I got hella music. Like I got shit, twenty some songs in my in my phone. Yeah. Shit, so I got hella music. I can throw out any time. Uh, like we're working on something new. Like as we speak, I got a session tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I got some shit coming. Hopefully, if hopefully around the same time, front on the camera early December. I'm gonna give it a date. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it around that time. I ain't gonna give it a date. Now, are these three singles going to be on there, or you got, or those are just the Lucy's you get rid of, because uh, you got a whole new project? I think I might put two of them on there, but, you know, um, shit, it, it just depends, for real, how they, sonically, how they had our sounds, for real, so if it mesh well with them, with them three, then, yeah, we'll put them out. But, like, I got some other, like, it's, it's a lot of other producers that's, like, send me, like, other, they send me hella production though I'm trying to work with too. I'm trying to catch up on beats and shit. So I hope that nigga hit if any nigga send me some beats that hope they don't think I be trying to dodge them and duck them and yeah. like that. But I just ain't really get been able to get to them. But yeah, I'm catching up on beats and stuff like that. So I'm just putting out putting out hella hella shit. Yeah. For real? Now um, y'all got a title for the project yet? No, no title for the project. We don't really come up with the titles for the project until like we carry it all the way through, see it all the way through. Like, cause no, I really don't even be naming my songs for real until like I find them listening and stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I blew magic. I you know what I'm saying that I came up with that. When we, he was like, which one they name me? So I'm like, uh blue magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't I haven't heard it yet. Like did you did you rap about blue magic? Like you yeah, just the first it? line of the song, first shit for brand name like blue magic. Oh, okay, that's okay. Sometimes it ain't really sometimes we can name shit funny shit coming yeah. like it ain't it don't even be it's just personality yeah. shit, charisma shit. Just shit, sometimes shit. I know people got like a they got a dope uh they usually got like dope dope song names. It's uh like Larry June. Yeah. Like his like <laughs> But but the songs be hard and I, I don't ever really think they are like <laughs> rap about like what the title will be sometimes yeah. like it'll be like orange and green smoothie or something crazy like yeah. that like you won't even rap about shit like that but it'd be all it'd be you know worse than orange. yeah it's just people people remember the name of that you yeah. know what I mean? like so nah, that's that's dope so uh as far as the brand like are you are you do you still look at yourself as more so like a rapper first kind of making that transition as you like now nah, I want to be more on the uh on the uh, designer side uh that's something I have a fight with myself about yeah. because sometimes I get caught up in sometimes I get caught up in rap mode and I'm just a rapper and I came up with them designs whatever I got is what I'm gonna work with then it's sometimes it's like shit I'm a designer I gotta figure out the brand shit I got yeah. enough raps I can put them out any time so I be trying to battle that. I be trying to like balance the two, for real. And it's like a battle, to be honest. But I only like e even before I was doing the merch. Like I ain't never really looked at myself like a rapper. I looked at myself as an artist because I never really like just doing shit as rap. Like everything had a concept. Everything always been like methodical. So it's like I was always doing more than just rap. Yeah. So with the with the brand, it's like the brand is just it's my hustle. For real, I just this how I treat it. It's just like my husband, how I get my bread. You feel me? So, you know, I treat just like how I need to have a bag and keep this shit going. But do I want to be more of a? 
designer or a rapper? That's a good question. Because I love both, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, sometimes I get my I get caught up in, in, in that mode, like, yeah. I, don't know, I think I'm gonna do this. But you feel me? Like, I just as much as I got people interested in the brand, I got people interested in the raps too. So it's, I think it's a, I think, I think that's going, that's what's going to be the beauty of like first shift. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm going to be able to do both. And it's going to like, the music, the music helps the brand. The brand helps the music. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's been people that have hollered at me like, man, I don't even know you rap. Like, damn, I didn't even know you had merch. They, they say the same shit. It's the same thing. Yeah. So, you know, that's a, like I said, that's a, that's a good question though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, nah, cause I mean, when you do multiple, things and you got a love for each and then you're starting to be successful at both yeah yeah, yeah. Like, I, can't, I can't i can't give two 100s you yeah. know what i'm saying like that don't make sense but like i can't be 100 over here and 100 over there like yeah. I, I gotta find a way for time for both and sometimes you just you just naturally get in the mood where you you like man i might i might have just did merch for a whole year and yeah. i wouldn't even go start out like that but shit yeah. was hitting you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but I, I want to get back to rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I can definitely see where you can get get um get uh, conflicted with that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And another thing is too though, bro, what I noticed like like I know a lot of people make clothes. Um I know a lot of people make merch. And usually when it's a rapper or artist, when they have their merch, they generally only push it for like for that moment. That time span was the, the, the album or the song, the single that they're pushing. They'll push it for like maybe a month and then it's over with. They don't really yeah. push their merch. Like they might mention it or you know, they give them wear that shit, but they might mention it in there. But you, you really, you, you hustle. Yeah. And you know, every time I get online, I see uh, you did the raffle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think you, you popped up on niggas and did a raffle. Like you did. You popped up on niggas and sold shit. You sold shit out the trunk. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you sold shit via Twitter, yeah. Instagram, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you're doing. And I was like, every time I see this nigga, he got another shirt, another another hat, a different color. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't never seen this blue hat. And he got a blue or red hat. Or like I ain't never seen this white yellow hat. This nigga got a white yellow hat. I was like, hey, nigga, what, what what color does this nigga not have? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I caught myself thinking the other day. I said, I said, I said, if I see another color come away from this nigga, I'm gonna yeah. How many colorways you got, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like because, and, and and I think and I think with with something when it comes to like merch like that, not only does it show that like you know what I'm saying you got style, but like everybody's taste is different. So yeah. like, I don't know too many niggas that wear purple and orange. Yeah. But one of these days, it's gonna be a nigga that's gonna say, "Bro, I want a purple hat." With like an orange accent, yeah. like, nigga, I got you. You know what I'm saying? I got, <laughs> I got, you. got you. You feel me? Like they like, yeah, you got a purple hat, bro. And you're like, bro, I got you, bro. Like you feel me? I've had people for the merch and shit that we sold. Somebody was like, bro, I need a red hoodie. I was like, damn, bro. It's crazy to say this, but we ain't got a red and black hoodie. You know what I'm saying? We got a yeah. red hoodie, we got a black hoodie. We ain't got a red and black. Yeah. Because, All right, we know we get a red and black. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, bro, we got to we got to step our shit up. We need these colorways. Like somebody asked for. Uh, a fucking teal and, and salmon yeah. or salmon color. Yeah. I was like, nigga, I don't have that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't have that. I can't. I wish I did. But I don't have it. You feel me? Like so. Like when I see you doing shit like that, I'm like, bro, this nigga got this nigga got everything you need, bro. You yeah. feel me? And the dope part of it is, like, yeah, it does. It does look like the St. Louis Cardinals. Like that thing is gonna be like the first thought because it looks like it yeah. but you can also tell like it's different and it's it's your own thing like it's first shift you yeah. can see like that's that's what it is and yeah. it's it's not it's not the cars you yeah. know what i'm saying even though you know you can tell like that's where you probably get the id from you yeah. know what i'm saying that's cool that's fine but it's still its own thing and i think that's dope about it too because it looks like it should be on clothes yeah. you know what I'm saying? it's not just some shit niggas made it's like it looks like it's 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 a brand. And that's, yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Was, that's what I was going for too. Like, cause my last brand I did, I had was with a couple, with a couple of my buddies, uh, our friend Faye. We didn't really have like a real logo. Yeah. But like, this is something like I wanted you to be able to like. 
when you see that, you can be able to put the face with the name, even if you even if you don't, you never heard my music. You, yeah. know you can still put the face with the name, and I can introduce you to my music or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? So, like, so like I said, some people would uh, hear my music be like, damn, why didn't you have all this merch? You're like, damn. So, the one thing I, I'm working on now, like, on my website. So, just getting the website shit taken care of is going to be, it's, it's going to be a lot easier for people to get yeah. and access also. I mean, like, shit, with the, with, you think about it, like, like Master P and used to get it out the trunk and shit. So, I, that's what I would really, like, if, if anything, I'm, I love, like I said, I love being a rapper. I love rapping. I'm always going to rap. But, like, I want to be more than just that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I can build something, why not build something? I want to build something so I can get my son. I know my, like, my pops won't ever give me nothing. My mom ain't really going to give me nothing. I mean, she took care of me. She raised me well. I don't want her. She might see this and she be like, oh, I don't do that. Like, I don't want her to be out tripping on me. But, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? It's... It's like, you know, I want to leave something for my kids. Like, you know what I'm saying? I want to leave a legacy. You know what I'm saying? So first shift, it, like I said, I want, want you to be able to, I want you to be able to put the face with the name on just the last bell. For real. Nah, that's dope, bro. I, I, like I said, I, I definitely respect it. Uh, I don't know I don't know if anybody else calls them, which I think they do. I think I seen somebody tweet it, but shit, if they didn't tweet it, bro, I'm going to say it, bro. Hustle of the year, you know what I'm saying? First shift. <laughs> Appreciate that. Like I said, bro, like, like watching it and it was organic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't it didn't it didn't seem like you was trying to just do some shit just because it didn't yeah. seem like you was like, man, I'm gonna get this merch off but I'm but nah, you really you really you really doing it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You really in it. Like you feel me like you treating it like like nigga, this is this is mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, all those pictures, those photos, yeah. all those graphics I do. Yeah. I take those my own photos, I take all of that shit. So my designs that come up, every other uh, bandana, bandana, monogram, all of that shit. Yeah. Like, it's all me. Yeah, no, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? No, I definitely, definitely respect it, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's what a slow thing of a rap, like yeah. trying to figure all that shit out of slow thing yeah. of a rap. Like, but, 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 <laughs> but, but, but they still see you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when niggas stop rapping, you don't see them no more. Straight up. They just. And the way flows, yeah, right? you feel me? Like yeah. you, you still, you still being seen. Yeah. And like you said, the brand and the rap, they, they, it's first shift. Yeah, it ain't first shift. And then I got first shift over here, and I got whatever over here. Yeah. Like no, whatever I do is first shift. Yeah. Like it's so it's either way. If the brand is gonna grow, yeah. my rap shit gonna grow. My rap shit gonna grow. My brand gonna grow. Like yeah. it, it goes hand in hand. You feel yeah. me? And the thing is, like it's rap shit, be like. Like, I brand myself as first shift, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's easy. The more I grow, the more the both grows. Yeah. Now, that's how I feel, like, you know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the, that's the beauty of it, for real. It's tight, like you said, like, it's tight, because, you know, you got the brand, you got it right, and then tie right there, right there, right there in the middle. So, you know, it, like, I, I look at it like, you know what I'm saying? I rap, so the, the music behind my, my, my videos should be first shift. Yeah. The, everything I should do, if it's branding wise, if it's anything motion, it, I should have my music behind this entire rap. Yeah. You know so it's like a video. So I just be thinking of that, those type of, it's like a cheat code for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm on that type of thing. I'm on that type of time for real. So I don't know, man. Like, I appreciate you saying hustle of the year though, because like, this shit, bro, be stressful, nigga, be stressed out. Like, man, fuck, my shit ain't even came. And I've been waiting on something. I've been waiting on stuff from July. Like, yeah. And my last batch of hats and my hoodie drop, that shit was from July. I ordered that shit in July. I was already trying to gear up and have everything together. I mean, I guess the sort of was still together, but it just came late and it was kind of messed up a little, messed up a couple of orders. Now, a couple orders are still back. I'm still waiting on some airbrush shirts and, you know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a process. You know I mean? yeah. But, but yeah, that's, that's shit. As, as, long as, as long as at the end of the day, people who are, who are buying into to, to you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Fuck with you, bro. They they not they not gonna trip. They're gonna be like shit. We we understand like we know what time it is, like sure. we know what's going on outside. So we okay, bro says his shit's backed up. Cool. Like yeah. just give it to me when you get it. You know what I'm saying? Like of course you got something like nah I'm canceled, whatever, cool, whatever. But yeah. shit, all right. You know, when this shit booming, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly how I put it too. Yeah, because the interest is there. Yeah. The interest is there. You feel yeah. me? 
but you but you see the ones that's like really rocking, all right, like they understand. But it's like what you said, what you said, it's like about staying visible. So, you know, if I don't got no rap, fuck it. I got a product placement photo. You know yeah. me? If I don't have a product placement photo, shit, I got a video with me and my son. Yeah. <laughs> if I ain't got a video with me and my son, then I got I got a, I got some music I can drop. You yeah. see? So it's just keeping the cycle going for it. Yeah, no, that that's that's all it's about, bro. Shit. It's been a dope interview. Uh, you got any shout outs? Shit. Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? For fucking with me. Shout out. This is Montro, right? I'm going to answer. Montro, you on camera. Shout out to Montro. This is my dog. Shout out to my dog. <laughs> shout out. Shit. For real, shout out to everybody who's out here working. I ain't. Shout out to everybody who's out here working. I ain't respecting any of you if you ain't working. Niggas yeah. be claiming shit. If you working, I respect it. If not, you know. But other than that, you know, I don't know. Shout out to everybody who fuck with me. Shout out to everybody who don't. First shit. Man. Shit, yeah, but I appreciate it, bro. Like I said, bro, I see what you're doing. I respect it. Thank you, man. Hustle of the year. First shit. Right. Hustle of the year, bro. Hustle of the year, man. <laughs> dog, dog first shit. And shit, we out. Yes, sir. Going forward, never looking backwards I need more, I'm forever stacking On top of it, like a dope boy mattress You niggas is haters, broke boy habits Like how I said, she caught me looking at